Hey guys, Alexei from Ace 5 Studios, and this is Materials 103. And here we'll go a bit more of a layer shader. I just wanted to show some uh, slight a different approach to because before I showed you how to use it in um, an abstract sense, but here I want to show you a more practical way how I use it with, uh, for example, characters. Now, for example, when I provide uh, like a texture, or if I'm just you know if I don't know what colors I want yet. A good approach is to use the shader channel because, for example, here I have this black and white image loaded. And now what I can do is I can click on it. No, sorry, not click on it. I can click here and go shader, um, shader layer, sorry. <laughs> a bit misspeaking there. Layer shader, there you go. And you'll see it takes a bit longer to process, but it's there. And what this is painted on color. And now you can just put in shader, for example, color and you can change this to pink. So let's use a brand colors here, so pink. And let's add another shader color, and this one will be blue. And if we use this as a layer mask, and put this one underneath, you'll see the color is blue and, and it updates. And so this is very convenient. Now you can easily change the color without having to go and repaint textures or anything. You could also use the colorize node like this, you know, with the, as I showed before. Um, but here are the advantages, for example, if I want to replace this pink, if I want to put an image in. And then I can just select, uh, for example, where is the case textures. And here I can select this one. I have to copy it. And now you can see that we have some watercolor going on there in the background. And on top you have, on this one you have blue layer. So, you can mix and match, you know, images like this and whatnot. But also a cool thing with this is that you can also load in, for example, a MoGraph color shader. This is what I want to show you most. You go shader and MoGraph color shader. And now if you're cloning this character, for example, if let's put him, put her into a cloner, let's change it to grid and a bit less of these. Um, a couple more of these here. Let's drag it out. Now, when you say you have them on the beach, you can have them lying or whatever, animated or in the crowd. What you can do is here, uh, this MoGraph color shader that we have actually gets affected by the cloner. So, for example, if we get a MoGraph effector and just plain effector, you'll see it moves everything up. Let's get rid of that. Let's just ch turn the color to on and no, to user defined and let's change it to let's say yellow and you won't see the results for right but if you do a render region you can see the stripes are yellow let's make more of them black it's really visible stripes are black but now you can actually what you can do is you can use the fall off and you can uh you can turn on linear and then you can rotate this And when you hit render, you'll see the lines blend from white to black because we have the uh, shaders moving there. And if you stretch this fall off out, you'll see a, so it goes from white to gray to black. So it's very handy. Um, also a way that I, there's probably a bit more, gives you a bit more control is instead of using the MoGraph color shader, you can use the MoGraph multi-shader. And here you can actually load images or color channels, it doesn't really matter. For example, I can load the white one here and just control drag it. Let's click on it and let's give it a color. Let's make it green. Now let's add a couple more and drag it in here and in here and in here. And now let's say we want green and then we want a blue and then we want, ah, where is it? We want a pink and we want a yellow. No, it's not. There you go. Let's keep that index ratio. I think that's the, that was the default one. <laughs> so yeah, and now when we render this, obviously they're all yellow right now. Oh no, they're already grading. That's interesting. Not meant to be already grading. But what I usually do is I use it random effector. So I go uh, MoGraph effector random. 
and I turn off the parameters and I just turn off modify. I turn on modify clone and I turn on the color thing. And it doesn't work. I think the default shader is not index ratio. Um, shader, my graph, multi shader, color brightness, that's the default. That's why it's not working because this is meant to be color brightness. There you go. Also useful thing to look into. So there you go. Now if we render. Random color, yep, there you go. We're having a random. And now we can change the seed of that. There we go, and we have a different type of bikini renders. So there you have it. You can also now use a, a shader effect that if it's, since it's taking the color brightness, you can use a shader effect or once again, any of the effectors to control uh, what color the clone is and that'll in turn control what color the bikini is. So there you go, I'll go over more on this detail when I do a MoGraph cover, but basically this is what I wanted to cover, a more practical approach to using shaders and Layer. So as you can see, the blue line was kept as it was. And we can change that. We can say the blue line was meant to be black, for example. And the other colors, they're changing randomly. So it's useful making crowds and or anything dynamic like that. Yeah, so this was Alexei from Ace 5 Studios. And yeah, don't forget to subscribe to me on YouTube and Twitter and whatnot. There's more tutorials to come. I got a lot more materials, stuff that I need to cover. Hope you're liking it. Don't forget to leave comments and other stuff. And don't forget to check out my website for all the for these rigged characters because this is a rigged character. If we turn on the controls, which I've hidden because they're showing up in the render. Let's turn off the cloner for a second there. Aha. Why can't I see my mesh anymore? Because I hit it from the viewport. This is a rigged model, so check out the 5J pack. There's a lot more there on my website. Have a good one.